Hi guys, I'm glad you are interested in my tutorial. I am Art Invader. I am a digital artist from Germany. I regularly post art and short tutorials on Instagram and TikTok. I have also Patreon. There you can support me as an artist. You can choose between two packages. With the first package, you have exclusive access to all my Cinema 4D and Blender tutorial files from YouTube. In the second package, you also have access to the YouTube files, but also to my Instagram artworks. You can see inside the file how I work and what my tricks are. You also have access to my animations and 3D objects within the file. I will upload in both packages, several times a week new projects. Therefore, it will be especially worthwhile for you. Today I show you how to create a drawing pen that paints 3D snakes on objects. So example I use a head, but you can paint with a pen on any object of your choice. This function exists only in Blender, so there will be no additional Cinema 4D tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments or write me on Instagram. Link is in the caption. Then let's get started. First remove all objects from the scene, using the X key. Insert the 3D head. I link you the head in the caption. Make sure your 3D model head is perfectly centered in the middle of Blender. Split the timeline window. To do this go to the right side of the window and when A plus appears drag the window to the side. In the right window select geometry nodes. In the left window select Svrchoke nodes. For Svrchoke nodes you have to install a free plugin. I link you the plugin in the caption. After you have downloaded it, go to Edit and select Preferences, there you press Insert in the upper right corner and install the plugin. Alright, let's continue. Go to Add and insert a cube. Name it G Nodes. In the right window Geometry Nodes press the plus new button. Delete the group input with the X key. Go to Add, then to Grease Pencil and select Blank. Go to Draw Mode in the upper left corner. So that we can draw on the object, we have to select Surface in the upper center of the bar and set the offset to 0,005 Sorry. The value indicates how much distance should be between the object and the drawn line. It differs depending on the object size. Draw something on the head to see the further workflow. Go back to the object mode. In the Svrchoke nodes window press plus new. Search under add GP plus 2. If you don't see anything, you have to do the following step. Go to view and frame selected so you can see something. At name add the grease pencil. At layer select the GP layer and change to active frame. Go to add and search frame info and connect it to objected selector. Then delete the viewer draw and replace it with mesh viewer. Then connect the vertices with each other and data with edges. Press the merge button. In the objects we see that a new alpha layer has formed. Drag the layer to the right window geometry nodes. Then go under add and select mesh to curve. Connect all green points. Then add curve to mesh and connect both curve slots together. Search for curve circle. Connect curve with profile curve. Set the radius to the height you need. I choose 0.4. To make our object pointed, we have to do the following steps. Search for curve radius and set it between mesh to curve and curve to mesh. Then search for spline parameter and connect factor to radius of set curve radius. Since the spline contracts at the wrong end, we have to add reverse. Put it between mesh to curve and set curve radius. As you can see, there are some bumps in the spline. You can adjust them in the Svrchoke nodes window. 
reduce the value y in the mool x. So that we can draw symmetrically on the object we select the G node layer. After that we press the blue tool symbol and add mirror it add modifier. Under merge you can choose a suitable distance. After that you select subdivision surface under add mod fear, so that everything is smoothed out. If you go back to the draw mode, you can draw on the object. Here is a tip. To avoid overlaps and errors, it's optimal to turn off the G nodes layer first and show it again after you are done. The mask is not optimal now, it needs some time and practice to get it optimal, but for the tutorial it is enough. Now we come to the texture. For this we change again into the object mode. So that we can see the texture on our mask, we have to create a new material at geometry nodes. Then go to the G node layer and create a new material and insert it there. Switch to shader editor. First switch to the 4 viewport shading. Then we change to world. There we delete everything except the world output and the background. At the end we search for environment texture and put a photo there. On Patreon you can find the complete project file, link in the caption. Under background set strength to 1,5 to make the background brighter. Now we switch back to object. There you set metallic to 1 and roughness to 0,2. After that add a bump and an image texture. At image texture you put in the bump map. I put a link in the caption for you. Finally search for mapping and texture coordinate. You can now adjust the texture under scale. I set all values to 30. Also we rotate the texture on the x-axis by 90 degrees. That's it, now you can draw 3D snakes on the head. To make sure you don't miss a new tutorial from me, please subscribe to the channel. I try to upload 1-2 to tutorials per week. See you in the next tutorial.